For the last nine months, I've been investing $60 every single day inside of the stock market into this ticker symbol AAPL or Apple. What's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys the results of dollar cost averaging or DCA. DCA is when you invest a certain amount of money consistently inside the stock market. For me, it's every single day that the market is open. For other people, it could be once on the 1st and once on the 15th once every two weeks or once a month, it doesn't matter. Dollar cost averaging is when you invest the same amount of money or any amount of money inside of the stock market consistently, no matter what the price is. If the price is high, if the price is pulled back and is low, dollar cost averaging is when you're gonna average out those high points and those low points to kind of even out your ride and consistently grow your stock, your portfolio slowly over time, right? So you're not just gonna say, hey, I came across a thousand dollars. Let me just throw a thousand dollars inside the stock market right now. And that's all I got. I'm gonna invest it inside of McDonald's, right? You could be buying McDonald's at $300. And then not knowing that you bought it at the peak, McDonald's might pull back to 280 and you lost money. Dollar cost averaging is like, I got a thousand dollars. For the next 10 weeks, I'm gonna be investing $100 inside of uh, McDonald's. First week is at 300, second week is at 320, third week it pulled back to 280, 275, 265, and then it started to recover and went all the way back up to $280 after you was buying it at $250. Now that McDonald's at $250, you are still in profit because you was buying some of McDonald's down at 250 compared to if you would have bought it all at $300. So that is dollar cost averaging right there. It averaged out the high points and the low points. Now, Apple has been, it's been on a roller coaster these last nine months. Did it perform how I wanted to perform? Stay tuned and find out. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button to find out. In fact, better than any of that, hit that notification bell. I think hitting that notification bell helps me out more than hitting the thumbs up button. So if you guys want to subscribe and hit that notification bell, that helps me out more than you guys can possibly even imagine hitting that notification bell, hitting that notification bell. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys, am I on track on what I want to be doing with Apple? Is it performing how I want it to perform? Am I making money? Am I losing money? Um, they did just have an earnings report and it jumped up. So it, it, it kind of helped me out a lot right there with the earnings report. But, but yeah, I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna show you some technical analysis and then I'm gonna show you that am I on my path to retiring in 30 years with around what was, was 2.7 million dollars with just Apple, Apple alone, 2.7 million dollars I should be able to retire with from dollar cost averaging $60 every single day. I know where a lot of you guys are saying, hey, you're not investing $6, $60 every single day. The stock market isn't open every single day. Shut Shut up. Shut up. No does not open every single day. So yes, $60 Monday through Friday, five days a week or $300 a week or $1,200 a month. Now what I am going to do, so all you people can shut up out there talking about you're not buying it every single day. The stock market not open every single day. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start another challenge to where I'm going to be buying cryptocurrency. Now cryptocurrency is open every single day. So if you guys want me to invest $10 or $20 inside, I want you guys to comment down below and I'm also going to put up a voting poll. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that voting poll and put it on my communities tab. By the time this video is up, it should be on my communities tab. So you guys can go vote or drop a comment down below. Do you want me to buy $20 of Bitcoin every single day? $20 of Ethereum every single day or $20 of Dogecoin every single day? Now, Bitcoin is going to be the, the granddaddy of them all. Everyone know Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency. Ethereum kind of outperforms Bitcoin over the long period of time during the bull run, kind of, sort of. And then Dogecoin is the, the meme coin that if it, if it shoots up, it has the potential to three, four, five, 10 X, maybe 20 X in this bull run alone. So if you guys want me to invest money every single day inside the stock market. Make sure you comment down below and I'm going to start to do that in future videos. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But before we dive into it, this video is brought to you by Moo Moo. Sign up with the link down in the description. Um, deposit $100 and you receive up to 10 free fractional shares with my special link down below that they provided me for you guys. Usually you get seven free fractional shares of the big seven. Now you get 10 free fractional shares of the big seven. Take that, deposit $100, start to use the platform, buy stocks in there, sell options, buy options in there, 
use all of their tools just the platform that i use is going to be very helpful for you guys in the future so make sure that you click that link down in the description download moo moo use that today get those free stocks it's by far the easiest way to get your investing um, journey started even if you already got weeboo even if you already got rival hood download moo moo it's free stocks use that platform buy and sell on there is it is amazing it's the, probably the most advanced um app to use for trading robin is more for beginners Rebo is pretty cool but moomoo Moo is the most advanced if you really want to get into trading check that out that link is going to be down in the description but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video all right dreamers here we are welcome back to my portfolio let's go look at the last year now you guys can see apple is up 4.9 percent over the last year alone usually not outperforming what they usually do right apple usually goes up around eight to ten percent every single year now it's only up around 4.9 percent over the last year alone so as you guys can see apple had its highs all the way up to 193 pulled back went back up pulled back went up pulled all the way back went all the way made a new all-time high to 197 pulled back went right back up to 195 so yes it's just been pulling down and then over the last three months it's just been on a decline 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 so yeah so as you guys can see when you dollar cost averaging you're buying the highs right there and then you're buying the lows you're buying the highs you're buying the lows you're buying the highs you're buying the lows so if you're buying the highs and the lows on every single um, point right there and then eventually it shoots back up that's when you make the big bucks right there. So if we scroll down, you guys can see I'm finally up to 86 shares. Uh, probably been in another month and a half. I should finally have 100 shares worth of Apple. And then we can start selling options on Apple. My average cost is 175 Market value, $15,781. And I am up 4.3% of 4.03%, $611. Now, even though Apple has been down 3% over the last three months, um, they had an earnings report that just bumped up Apple um, dramatically right here. Apple was around 172. And then after the earnings report, it shot all the way back up to 185. So that really helped me out right there. So if we take a look, you guys can see my Apple daily buy on the recurring investments is $60. Right now with Apple at 4%, it's really not performing on how I want it to perform. Even the lowest I wanted Apple to perform is at 6% in a year. Usually Apple is around 8 to 10% in a year. So they're kind of underperforming this year right with a year to start dollar cost averaging on apple where it's not really performing but hey i'm loading up on stocks right now why is it a decent price and not the best price but it's at a decent price so when it eventually do pull back and shoot further and reach new all-time highs in the future i'll have the shares and the capital already in there to make even more money so we click on apple well last month i invested 1320 dollars overall 10k and 59 shares since i first started and apple was up 1.24 percent since i started and over the course of a year I started investing on August 28th, 2023. By August 28th, 2024, I would have invested $15,120. So every year I would have invested $15,120 into Apple. So over time in 30 years, I should be able to retire with around a $2.7 million portfolio in just Apple alone. So is it working out for me? It, it, I'm not losing money, but it is it, really not performing how I thought it would have performed over the course of a lump of a course of a year. But remember, we're only nine months in. We still got three months to go. So in, in month 12, I'm going to do another update on Apple to see where it has it been over the entire year. So on August 28th, expect another video to come out. So let's go ahead, pull up the charts and see exactly um, how am I on my way to retiring with Apple with around $2 million in based off past performance, where should I be at um, by investing $60 every single day? All right, so here we are on trading view. As you guys can see, I've drawn out this chart a couple of times. Apple has been in a downtrend right here, just been going down, down and down. But eventually uh, it started to flatten out and started to recover. And then that earnings report right here, as you guys can see, they had a pretty good earnings report and it jumped all the way from 172 all the way up to $186 and it's starting to trade sideways. Do I think Apple is probably gonna pull back a little bit more to this yellow line? Probably so, hopefully it start to use this 200 EMA as a support line. If it does, I'll probably go in and mainly buy more shares of Apple 
But if we pull back, I'll wait until you get to a sweet spot right here at 168. But I'm still gonna be buying $60 worth of Apple every single day. It is a lot of money, but hey, I'm looking to retire early. Other than just buying $5 worth of stocks every single day, I'm gonna be buying 60. But if we pull back to here, I'm gonna double down on Apple right here, but I'm still gonna continue to buy $60 worth of Apple. Now if we go right here, you guys can see I already have $15,000 worth of Apple. I'm contributing around $1,200. What is it? Actually, it said $13 hundred dollars a month right and over the next 30 years with the 10 percent yearly there you go um continuing to invest 60 dollars over the next 30 years i would have 2.9 million dollars worth of apple inside my portfolio this is not won't this would not be my entire portfolio i'm not just only investing inside apple i'm also buying 20 dollars worth of other stocks but with just apple alone i have 2.9 million dollars that is enough for me to retire for me to pull out four percent every single year um, from my Apple portfolio and live off of that. Because if I'm only pulling out 4% and Apple grow 10% every single year, I should never run out of money um, while I'm alive when it comes to Apple, right? So I will have a total invested $483,000, but I will have a total balance of almost $3 million by the time I read to retire. But if we look at the past performances for Apple on how it's actually underperforming um, if we go all the way back to 2020. So yeah, I would have a portfolio of $3 million, but this is the best case uh, performance if Apple continue to go up 10% every single year like it should. If it's only going up eight, remember we still, it, I'm only have gonna have around $2 million. So that's a difference of a million dollars. $2 million to $3 million is a lot of money. So I need Apple to start catching up. We still got time. We're only nine months in. Hoping in the next three months, Apple could get all the way back up to around 8% and then we'll be back on track. But if we go right here to back test our portfolio, go back to the year 2000. Uh, we started it off. Let's say we're, we're at $15,000 right now. Cash flow. Uh, we're in, uh, contributing $1,300 every single month monthly uh, we're going to reinvest our dividends because this does not count our dividends or reinvest our dividends but right here we're going to go back to reinvest our dividends and type in apple so this is over the last 24 years of apple performance and apple could perform the same over the next 24 years so this is from 2000 to 2024 hopefully from 2024 over the next 30 years it could have the same performance but if it does, I would have a portfolio of $53 million and not $3 million. And $53 million is a, a whole lot of money. And in dividends alone, I would be bringing in around $300,000 every single year from dividends. So I would be able to live off of dividends and not have to pull from Apple at all. I could just live off of Apple dividends and not pull from Apple at anything at all and then pass on some of these shares to my kids, right? So this is my goal for Apple to continue to have future performances based off their past performances for I could have $50 million in my portfolio by the time I read to retire. But that's it guys, that is nine months into dollar cost averaging in on Apple every single day, well, every single market day that the market's open. Remember, if you want me to invest into that cryptocurrency every single day, check out, uh, comment down below which one you want me to invest in, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Dogecoin. Um, Apple is going, is, I'm not losing money from Apple. I'm actually making money from Apple, so I can't be mad at that. I just wish I'd be making a lot more. We got three more months to go. If you guys want to check that out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell because I think hitting that notification bell helps out more than um, hitting the thumbs up button. But you can hit all three, do the trifecta, subscribe, notification bell, and hit that thumbs up button. And then comment down below on do you dollar cost average on anything inside the stock market? Are you investing? Are you a new investor? Ask any questions you have down below. This is a great community. I have the best subscribers. We are willing to help you out down in the comment section. And don't forget to pick up your free stocks. Use Moomoo Moo down in the comment section. Sign up, deposit $100, get seven, no, get 10 free fractional shares of the big seven, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, stuff like that. So that's by far the easiest way to get started. But yeah, guys, that's it. Join me on my journey. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm Zeke, bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.